Welcome to the Noonday Meditation with Wayne Vernon. We continue exploring the series of rhetorical questions that the Apostle Paul asks in Romans chapter 8. But let us do a quick review of the other questions he asked and the answers he gave. In Romans 8, 31 and following, the Apostle asked, If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things? Then he points out that God has justified those who believe in Jesus Christ and by his grace, they remain justified. So then, uh, who then will bring a charge that will hold up against those God has chosen. In the verse 34, he says, Christ Jesus died and was risen to life and, and is at the right hand of God and he's interceding for us. Therefore, he asks, who is he that condemns? And then in Romans chapter 8 and the verse 35, the Apostle Paul asks another rhetorical question. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Interestingly, of all the questions that the Apostle Paul asks in this pericope regarding the, the, and, and the answers he presents, the, the question regarding the separation of the believer from the love of Christ receives more attention than any other. In fact, in fact, Paul dedicates four verses to this subject and hammers his point home vis-a-vis -vis God's eternal love for his children and the victory we have in Jesus Christ. So, who or what shall? Believers, Paul asks a huge question and his intent is to establish the absolute impossibility of such occurrence. What shall create a distance between us and Christ? What shall destroy the love of Christ for us? Paul enumerates a series of issues that are considered threatening to the believer and could possibly weaken our faith claim. He says, shall trouble or hardship or persecution, famine or nakedness or danger or sword, as it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. The people of God are always the subject of opposition and fierce persecution. The idea of the enemy is to, to obliterate, to get rid of the people of God, their presence and their, their power from the face of the earth. Paul puts it this way in 1 Corinthians 4 and the verse 11 and following. To this very hour, we go hungry and thirsty. We're in rags. We are brutally treated. We're homeless. We work hard with our own hands. When we're cursed, we bless. When we're persecuted, we endure. When we are slandered, we answer kindly. Up to this moment, we have become the scum of the earth, the refuse of the world. Loved ones, despite the extreme difficulties we face as believers, it is comforting to receive the assurance from Scripture that we are safe in the love of Jesus Christ and that nothing can ever separate us from his love. I hope that today you will be comforted and encouraged by these verses and to when you recognize that the 
the infinite love of God and the reckless love of God, nothing can separate us from that love. I pray that you will feel assured in your heart today that you are safe in the Master's arms. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Thank you for listening to the Noonday Meditation with Pastor Wayne Vernon. Please forward this study to your friends, your relatives, associates, neighbors, and all those persons in your social network. If you have a prayer request, please feel free to communicate with us and we will commit to supporting you in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, Shalom.